Hello, I'm Catherine Robinson. This is 10's Late News. Whoever's deliberately this fire, you are a murderer. You have murdered our family. A message from the victims to the criminals who blackened our hearts. A nation shares the suffering of a day burned in our memory. To those in the midst of the terror and tragedy, we send our thoughts, our hearts, our prayers and our most profound admiration. And hope from the ashes. Just glad to hold her. Just glad to hold her. The joyous moment, a couple reunited after fearing the worst. Hi, I'm Rob Canning in sports tonight. Can Australia's cricket team tie up the one-day series? That's three. That's a glorious pull shot. A game four dogfight. The showdown intensifies. Oh, got it. Gunning for the World Cup, our Socceroos mission in Japan. And Aussie Mark Webber fast-tracking recovery. We're well on target for Melbourne. That's the main thing, obviously. We're focusing very hard on uh, making sure that I'm in the best shape possible for my first Grand Prix. First tonight, the nightmare in Victoria is far from over. It's in a state of shock as the death toll continues to rise and forensic teams start to find more and more victims. So far, the count is at a heartbreaking 181. So for the latest on the fire crisis, we cross now live to Late News reporter Brett Mason, who's at one of the main relief centres. And Brett, we hear that police are closing in on an arsonist. That's right, Kath. Last night we brought you news that a 40-year-old man had been charged with deliberately lighting one of these horrific bushfires. And sadly, it looks as though that wasn't an isolated incident. A fire which burnt out in Churchill and has claimed the lives of 21 Victorians is also suspected of being deliberately well, lit. Thanks yeah. very much, Rob. Let's check the weather details now. Mostly sunny in Cairns, Sydney, Hobart, Perth, Darwin and Alice Springs. A possible shower in Brisbane and Adelaide. A frosty start to a sunny day in Canberra. A clearing shower for Melbourne. And that is the latest from 10 News. The early news tomorrow is at 6am. I'm Catherine Robinson from the Late News team. Good night.